Hello, welcome to The Math Reflective. My name is Kathy Dixon, and today I'm going to talk to you about another math language routine. It is math language routine number five, co-craft questions and problems. And specifically for this particular lesson, we're just going to have students co-craft questions. We are using Open Up Resources 6-8 Math. This is for grade six, unit two, lesson nine. The lesson is about constant speed, and what we're going to do in the third activity of our lesson is to have students come up with questions before we actually go into the rest of the problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to give them a context, but not all the information, and then we're going to have them think together and work in tables to collaborate to come up with questions. The purpose of this math language routine is to help cultivate conversations between students and to help maximize their output as learners and mathematicians. And really, it helps them get inside the context of the problem without feeling the pressure yet to solve it. We are actually going to leave a couple of the quantities out just to see if that'll prompt them to come up with some more questions. Gets them thinking about the language used and getting them to come up with and create some of the phrases and language that we want them to think about before they engage in the problem fully. So let's take a look what happened in our classroom today. Yes. Okay. Let's see, how do I want to start? <laughs> Co-craft questions, take one. Today we are going to learn about a math language routine. Math language routines are very important. What a language routine does, it helps cultivate our conversations and it does something called maximize our output. When we learn how to talk more effectively in math and to write more effectively, it helps to deepen our understanding. So as mathematicians today, we are going to do a language routine called co-craft questions. Co is like the word co-teach, like Mrs. Dooms and I co-teaching together. Craft means what? What do you think craft means? Raise your hand if you have an idea of craft. What do Something you think? Something you make. Something you make. You guys are going to work together to create questions to go with this prompt. The reason this language routine is important because it helps you to not feel pressure right away about solving a problem and worrying about all the values that might be in a problem. It helps you just to kind of get your brain ready and think about, wow, what are some questions I could ask about this information? Then later when we go to solve the problem, you'll already be more engaged. You'll have an idea of what kind of phrases we've used in our own questions. We might be asking you the same questions that you come up with, but I want to see what you guys can come up with as a class, as table groups. You are going to co-craft questions about this prompt. And our prompt is, Lynn and Diego both ran for 10 seconds, each at their own constant speed. Go ahead. The speed never changes. The speed never changes. So as human beings, can we really run at a constant speed if we're running outside on our own? Are we always, if we run for an hour, are we going the same speed the whole time? Probably not. If we're on a treadmill and we set the treadmill at a speed, are we going the same speed the whole time? Yeah. But as human beings, it's very hard to do that. But what we do is we can average the speed somebody's running and find a constant speed for them. So now we're going to pass out dry erase boards for each table group and markers. And as a table, we're going to give you three to four minutes to create questions that we could do revolving around this problem. Okay? Mathematical questions? They could be mathematical. They could be questions about you asking maybe what other information. Maybe there's other information you could ask about or questions that you might ask someone to use to solve something about this problem. We haven't given you all the information. Let's just see what happens, okay? What's your question? Why are they only running for 10 seconds? Why are they only running for 10 seconds? Great question. What was their speed and who ran faster? Do they weigh the same? Can you tell me some of your questions in this group? Uh, our first one is, are they running up an incline or a downcline? I wrote, could they run longer at the same constant speed? What is their constant speed? So what you would do with your students after giving them part of the prompt or all of the prompt is you could have them work in pairs or in partners or in table groups. What we're going to do is put out dry erase boards 
one per table and if there's four students per table we're just asking them to do, you know separate the dry erase board into fours because we want everyone engaged and everyone accountable to help co-create questions then what we'll do is we'll have each group pick out their top question or their favorite question and we'll go ahead and do a group share with the whole class and they can talk about the questions that they used and what typically tends to happen is one or two of their questions is one of the ones they're going to have to answer anyway so already they're more committed and engaged thanks so much for tuning in go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more math videos on math language routines are you ready for more